I'm Bruno Paiva from the University of Navarra in Pamplona, Spain. At ASH, we will be presenting an abstract entitled Definition and Clinical Significance of the MLS Like Phenotype, a study in more than 5,000 5, patients with monoclonal demopathies. The background is that within the spectrum of monoclonal demopathies, there are various groups with similar biological and clinical profiles. Namely, the presence of myeloma and patients with light chain amyloidosis with the so-called MGAS-like phenotype has been hypothesized. And this would be a classification that is different and could potentially be complementary to other risk certification models, for example, based on tumor genetics. However, if this is true and relevant from a clinical point of view, the methods to identify this subgroup of patients with MGAS-like phenotype are not standardized and its clinical significance is not properly validated. Therefore, our aim was to develop a large flow cytometry data set across the spectrum of monoclonal gammopathies towards the automated phenotypic classification of patients with myeloma and AL with the so-called MGAS-like phenotype. We leveraged on classical flow cytometry data that is being collected in virtually all clinical laboratories from a very large uh, number of patients, more than 5,000, smoldering, newly diagnosed myeloma. We have internal valid uh, series. We have external validation series for, uh, uh, to confirm the reproducibility of our findings. Uh, well, we developed uh, an algorithm based on three parameters, the percentage of bone marrow plasma cells, the ratio between clonal and normal plasma cells within the bone marrow plasma cell compartment. And we used those parameters from MGAS, smoldering and myeloma patients to define an algorithm. And now we, that, based on the large data set, will classify each new patient as either MGAS-like, intermediate, or myeloma-like, according to the geographical location of, the, of, the, of each new patient onto the large data set. To be noticed, this algorithm is, although from my explanation may not seem uh, easy to perform, it is very easy and is readily available in clinical cytometry software. Now, from a clinical point of view, in uh, the training smoldering myeloma series, patient classification into MGAS intermediate and myeloma-like phenotypes resulted in significantly different rates of disease progression very low risk, intermediate, and very high risk. And this was validated in a series of patients from Arkansas in the United States. And I would like to emphasize that patients with smoldering myeloma, even if high risk by the Mayo criteria or the Bethema criteria, if they have an MGAS-like phenotype, there is virtually no risk of progression at five years. And therefore, we believe that we have here a biomarker to exclude smoldering patients from clinical trials because these will not benefit from early treatment intervention due to very low risk of disease progression. Now, in newly diagnosed myeloma, we show that patients with MGAS-like phenotype, a very small percentage, have exceptional outcomes, a median PFS of 10 years, median OS not reached yet after a long, long follow-up, very uh, uh, exceptional outcome, and importantly, this outcome was independent of depth of response. In other words, patients failing to achieve complete remission will enjoy this exceptional outcome if they have an MGAS-like classification a diagnosis. On the contrary, in patients with light chain amyloidosis, we demonstrated in a Spanish and we validated in an Italian series that the classification of AL patients as MM-like, myeloma-like, is a biomarker of dismal progression-free and overall survival. And this could be complementary to other risk certification models. So to conclude, 
We believe that this is the largest cytometry study ever performed in the spectrum of monoclonal gammopathies, more than 5,000 patients. We developed an algorithm that can be readily installed in clinical cytometry software for patient automated phenotypic classification based on only three parameters that are routinely assessed at screening in any clinical cytometry laboratory. Because patients with embers like phenotype have a similar clinical behavior, we believe that their identification could become part of the diagnostic workup in patients with smoldering, newly diagnosed myeloma, as well as light chain amyloidosis. 